Such groups and drugs as a whole have become part of the public consciousness. With shows such as Narcos on Netflix receiving critical acclaim and the publicity surrounding the border crisis as well as the fentanyl epidemic, the public are more aware of the destruction caused by such criminal organisations. Gangs such as Los Etas, the Sinaloa Cartel and CJNG have become household names in the true crime community, with many fascinated by the narco lure that surrounds such groups. Though the reality is, despite the brutality of Mexican drug cartels, there are a whole host of others throughout Latin America who are just as brutal, but more than likely you will not have heard of them. Such examples would be Brazilian gangs, such as Primero Comando de Capital, or the First Capital Command in English, as well as Comando Vermelho, or the Red Command, the two biggest criminal factions in Brazil. The First Capital Command was inspired by Comando Vermelho. Both criminal organizations were formed by prisoners as self-protection groups in Brazil's brutal prison system. The PCC arose in Sao Paulo in the 1990s and has forged a bloody path in order to dominate the criminal landscape in the country. The gang, now the largest and best organized criminal faction in Brazil, is believed to have members in all of the country's states and has expanded its operations internationally to neighboring South American nations, in addition to Europe and Asia. The PCC, formed in the wake of the October 1992 massacre in Sao Paulo's Caranduru prison, in which Brazilian security forces killed 111 prisoners following a riot. In August 1993, a group of eight prisoners who had been transferred to Taubati prison formed the PCC to fight for justice for the massacre and to push for better prison conditions.